Good morning. Welcome back to Track and Travel with Rick. And today I'm going to show you how, step by step, how to install a flexible solar panel to the roof of your RV. Uh, this particular RV, and I'll show you in a little while, has a built in charge controller. So I'm not covering how to install one of those, um, but you'll need one of those to manage solar to the battery. And it is pre wired to the roof with uh, these factory type connections. So this will just plug in. So what I'm really covering is how am I gonna attach this to the roof? So there's a couple ways you can do it. If you had a fiberglass roof, that'd be easy. I would tape it or glue it. But this has a rubber roof, which means you have some 3 8 plywood and it has a rubber membrane over it. And if I glue or tape down to that rubber membrane and the rubber membrane is not secured everywhere to the plywood, I'm concerned it would just rip the membrane and then we got a real rough problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use number 10 stainless steel screws and I got little washers. So we're in the middle of Iowa, they're crop dusting. So we're gonna have to put up with the plane noise. Um, so what I'm gonna do, what I did is I've got, this is a woodworking bit for a number 10 screw for a pilot. I drilled a number I drilled a pilot to test this out. This is very secure, so this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to drill a pilot hole, then I'm going to run a screw with it. Before we run the screw down, I've got this RV butyl tape, and we will put a piece of this tape in between the roof and the grommet because I want to be able to seal underneath and not have a path. Then after we've screwed it down, I use a screw gun and then I might do the final with the screwdriver. After we screw it down, then I'm gonna use, uh, this is Dicor lap sealant. Uh, pretty expensive uh, stuff for just using, I need six drops, but it's the way it goes. I don't want the roof to leak. So that's what I'm gonna need. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I think first step, I'll get on the roof and I'll show you where I'm gonna set this. And I actually wanna plug it in to see if we get any charge out and make sure it works before I go through this effort. Um, according to the instructions on the back, it does say, this is 100 watts. It does say to cover this. So I've got a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna take the box and cover it before I actually plug it in. And then take the cardboard off. Then I'll show you the charge controller and we'll see if we're getting anything out of it. All right. Okay, this is the roof of my RV. And you can see we have the factory installed. Um, this is by, you know, can't, can't read it, solar. It's a connector has the same connections and we're going to plug that in uh, actually first step is wash your roof where you're going to set it because it's going to cover that part and it'll be dirty forever so i'm going to go ahead and cover it up with cardboard and we're going to do a test make sure it even works okay so i've never uh, done this before but it doesn't look too tough these this connector had some plugs they seem to match up there's that plane again so Covered up the solar cell. We'll go ahead and plug these in. There we go. Okay, so they plug in real nice. Now I'll go ahead and let the sun on. It's not in direct sun yet, but uh, it will be soon. Okay, I'm down in the motorhome and we're kind of in the shade right now and we're getting four tenths of an amp going into my battery. So that's better than, uh, looks like we could use a few more solar cells. We'll see what this does in the heat of the day, but right now it tells me it's working, the plugins work. So let's get this thing attached. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, this putty and underneath each grommet, that's where I'm gonna set this putty and push it in to try to prevent any leak. that where we want it. That'll work right there. Go ahead and pre-drill. Now for the scary part. Well, that was easy. Now I've got a Stainless steel, uh, number 10, one inch screw. Got a stainless steel washer. Okay, it's 
seem to bite pretty good. Now I might take a little more putty and put it over the top or I might just use that uh, die core. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these done and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, we're fastened down, wired up, ready for the die core. Right, we're gonna just put some uh, die core lap sealant, uh, basic stuff. We'll put it in the cock gun, snip the end. Uh, pretty easy stuff. Okay, okay, finished uh, product. We have uh, die core, uh, sealing up the screws we have some butyl tape underneath and we have a hundred watt solar panel on the roof let's go in we're at now it's a little after 11 we got full sun let's go see what we're charging at okay guys we have it fully installed it's about 10 after 11 we're getting 3.7 amps at 12.6 volts uh you know it's barely over 45 watts it is a hundred watt panel um just a cheap one on amazon but installed really easy and hopefully this will keep our battery topped off while we're at the racetrack I uh, hope, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.